Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. And today we are going to be doing another session in the Christmas journal. And before I get started, I always like to just make a suggestion that if these are the type of videos that you like, all junk journal related, then you'll definitely want to give this video a thumbs up. And also you'll want to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when more videos come out. So I am really loving my Christmas journal, let me tell you all. And I have been doing live streams of me working in this journal, or should I say creating, because you know, working is such a harsh word. So if you would like to see the real time videos of me working in the journals, then come on over to the Patreon channel and just go to patreon.com slash Liz for a day. And the link is in the description below. So I made these numbers and I know they may be hard to see. It's a lot going on on all these pages and all the decorations that I made. But y'all know what? I love it. I wanted my Christmas book to be over the top and it definitely is. <laughs> it has uh, so many different patterns and uh, I wouldn't say it has lots of colors, but you know, it has green, red, brown, and of course, uh, gold in there. And I'm just kind of enjoying the way the pages are coming out. So I'm putting on some of my numbers and these are some of the daily numbers that I'm putting on. And I haven't resigned myself to uh, putting things in order. So some things in this book may be a bit out of order, but that's okay with me. I don't want to constrain myself <laughs> and make this more of a job. I want this to be a fun, fun thing to do. So I took out a piece of, this is actually a piece of freezer paper that I've been using over and over again for when I'm painting. I wanted to make sure that I kind of protected my surfaces today. So I decided to do a spot of painting. So if you've been following me or following me over on Instagram, you'll know that uh, this month I had to go and do a mammogram and it was my annual mammogram. So nothing out of the ordinary. And so I really wanted to, I wanted to be able to kind of tell a bit of a story about my mammogram experience basically in my journal. So I actually, I, I dreamt about this layout. <laughs> y'all, I know I tell you all, all the time and it sounds kind of cliche, but I actually sometimes dream about the layouts that I'm going to do. That's how much I love arting. I, I dream about it. And I knew that even though this book had lots of Christmassy colors in it, that this particular layout was going to be pink. Okay. <laughs> and originally I had thought to do the pink over a, a cardstock page that already had something on it because I wanted this page to say, it doesn't matter what time of the year you should go and have your annual mammogram and get checked out because early detection is the key. You know, it's the key to everything. So I took out some of my um, Glimmer Mist and this may look like a stencil, but it actually it was just a page that I cut some shapes out of to do my numbers. And so I decided to keep that and use it as a stencil and it worked out very, very well. So the next thing that I did was I took some Distress Ink and I'm having a lot of fun using my red distress ink because you know I don't get to use it that much and I decided to just give this page a very nice a vignetted border and I love the way this page is coming out so you can see how the shapes came out with the glimmer mist they came out really nice I just really gave it a light spray and even with that pink it still has it has a vintage feel to it 
because, you know, back in Victorian times, they used lots of pink during Christmas time as well. So this page, it fit in better than I had expected it to fit in. And I was really pleased with that. Now, I also took some of the green distressed ink and I went around the edges as well. And it kind of gave it like a brown look. It, it gave it a color that I would not have ordinarily have come up with if I just only used just that one color. So I like the effect that it had. Now it's time for me to cut some pictures. Now I just printed my pictures on, I believe just paper in this instance. So, you know, you don't have to have any fancy, smancy, glossy or matte photo paper or anything like that. You can just print your pictures on regular paper and it should all should be fine. <laughs> all should be fine. I will say that my paper of choice, I do love using 32 pound paper. It's a little bit heavier than cop copier paper, but I use it when I am doing invoices and letters and things like that. So every now and then when I'm printing out pictures, I'll use that as well. But I will say that I have used copier paper and I like that too. So you can also see that I did some sewing on these pictures because you know, y'all know, <laughs> You know that my journal would not be my journal unless I did some sewing. So me and the whippersnapper, we had a date today and we did lots of sewing for the layouts for today. Now you'll also notice that I did slow, uh, slow this down just a bit for you all because I know, I know sometimes I have these videos going really fast and you're probably saying to yourself, I need to like uh, rewind and catch up. Well, this time, I wanted to make sure that uh, it was a bit slower. So let me just ask you all, the question is, and I know that the majority of the viewers are women, do you have an annual mammogram? Don't be afraid to put it in the comments below. I would love to hear if you have a regular mammogram and how you feel about that. So now I'm just taking some school glue. My regular purple school glue works just fine. It's nothing fancy smancy about that either. <laughs> I try to keep things uh, a, on a low budget, believe it or not. And I don't mind using that purple glue because I know the purple is going to disappear. Now, I didn't mention as well, the flowers came from a post-it note. It was some post-it notes. They were very beautiful. I got them at the dollar store and I've had them for a while. And every now and then I pull them out. They make excellent journaling spots. But in this instance, I just wanted the flowers off of them. I thought the, the pink roses were just perfect for this layout. Now, the first picture that you see up there, that's me taking a, a photo of myself in my like my hospital gown <laughs> right before I got to go. I got to go in to take my mammogram. And then the second picture was a, actually a sign that they had on the wall. And it just basically uh, talked about, you know, early detection for the mammograms. Now, y'all, I was really feeling myself at this point. I was like, I am going to be a true artiste. <laughs> and I decided that I am going to draw the womanly anatomy on here and so that's what you're seeing here that's right folks you are seeing some boobage on here <laughs> and I think it's gonna be okay it's this is not porn or anything I'm just saying that this is uh what I decided to draw I just tried to decided to draw the girls and these little band-aid looking things these are actually leads and so I wanted to put the leads on here to kind of, I, I saved them. These were the actual leaves, leads <laughs> that were on my nipplets. Okay. I'm just going to put that out there. We're all grown, right? So once I drew that, I, I did it with my Posca pen. I said, I, you know, nobody's going to really understand what that is as if other people are going to be looking at my book, like right now. <laughs> So I decided to draw some more of the womanly anatomy. And y'all have to say, I did a darn good job on this picture. This layout really made me happy because I felt like I was really creative with this and it really worked out. I was, ugh, I just don't know. I'm patting myself on the back even now. <laughs> 
So I put the number four on here because the 4th of December was when I actually went and I got that done. So I went around the edges again. I, this time I used some vintage photo because I felt like the edges still didn't have enough of a frame for me. And so I just smooched it up just a little bit more. So next I decided to use some of my infamous washi tape because you know, I don't have enough washi tape, so <laughs> I only want to use a little bit, but y'all know I have a lot of washi tape and I'm trying to use it. I actually went through all my washi tape and I pulled out all of my Christmas washi tape so I can have it all together so I can use it over and over and over again <laughs> while I am working in my Christmas journal for my Christmas dailies. And I have to say, I am quite enjoying working in the Christmas journal. And in case you didn't know, this is my first Christmas journal. And so I'm kind of winging it. I'm not using any prompts to do this. And I'm just putting in here just little snippets because y'all know I'm the snippet girl. I'm putting little snippets of things that are happening to me during December. As you know, I don't think there's, I don't have too many things that are special coming up, but you know, once you start writing things on a piece of paper, you'll find that you have more to talk about than you think you do. So I had these other pictures and I was trying to decide, okay, what did I want to do with these pictures? Because normally I take lots of pictures for the Instagram account. And so that helps me to kind of keep up with things too. So that's a tip for you is even if you don't have an Instagram account, just take some pictures of interesting things. Once you start doing that, you'll find that as you're walking by a bush, you may say, man, that looks like something interesting to take a picture of. And it will kind of spark a memory and then you'll have something to write about. So that's a great way to kind of just kind of track how things are going in your life. And it's a way for you to have something to write about. Because I know sometimes it's hard for people to, if you're not like a diary person or a a you're a new journaler, sometimes it's hard to figure out exactly what you're going to write about. So what I pasted down on this page was another, uh, this was a page from a notepad and it was from a Christmas notepad. I think I actually got it maybe from Michael's and I've had it for like three years, three or four years. And so I haven't used that whole notepad and I thought it would be, you know, just this page would be very perfect in this layout. And I wanted to put some images from the day on here as well. So you can see I'm kind of backtracking. This is from the third and I'm just using my glue on here because this is just regular old paper that I'm putting down. And the only thing that I did to these particular photos was I used the red distressed ink around the edges because of course, y'all know me again, I like frames. <laughs> So I wanted to give my picture a frame or both of them. So the first one is me, me and my mom went to the Cracker Barrel for breakfast on this day. We had to do, uh, I think we had some doctor's appointments or something. So, you know, we uh, usually will go out and have a spot of lunch. I was hungry that day too. I remember that. <laughs> I was very hungry and, uh, it was kind of cold and they had the fireplace on. So that's a fantastic place to go eat breakfast on a cold day. Cause I think they only turn the, the fireplace on when it's, you know, cold for here in Florida because I asked them <laughs> and I was like, can we get close to the fireplace? And they put us close to the fireplace because my mother loves that. And then, of course, I did my nails that day. I always take a picture when I do my nails, y'all. I can tell how fast my nails grow by looking at the videos and the and the photos that I post on my personal Instagram account. Which, by the way, if you want to follow me over there, my personal account is Liz for a day, actually. And then the business one is Pleasant Creation. So you all can check that out. And the links, again, will be in the description below. Now I had these tags, y'all, this one is a long session, isn't it? <laughs> I had these tags and I wanted to put them down and 
uh, I think I got these from my mother. She always gets like, you know, the uh, Easter seals. They always send her Christmas cards and tags and things like that. And so she always gives me some of those. And she already knows that some of them are going to make it into my journal and some I will actually use. And it drives her crazy, but they were just perfect. They were perfect for my Christmas journal. So next year when I do the Christmas dailies, I also have some of these as well to use. So my plan is to actually um, make Christmas journals throughout the year. So y'all, you know, keep an eye out for that. Chris, more Christmas journals are going to be coming up. Um, I didn't know how much fun I was going to have with this one. So I didn't do any for sale over in the shop. But next next year I will for 2020, definitely. So I decided to make this into like a little band and kind of just tuck this tag into it. And then I had this, I had this beautiful ribbon and it's really not a Christmas ribbon. I probably can use it any time of the year, but it really kind of still fit the theme and I loved it. And I believe, and I'm not sure, but I believe uh, Sally with Pink Sally Productions, I believe she gifted this to me. I don't remember exactly because I'm at the point now. <laughs> Y'all have so much stuff from the thrift stores and things that people will give me. I'm just forgetting. So I'm sorry if that's not correct, but I do believe I got that from her. And I really love that ribbon a lot. And I've been trying to figure out how I was going to use this ribbon, believe me. I love it. <laughs> so I took out my shop Sharpies and these are the fine tip Sharpies. And I y'all, I love the Sharpie pens. I have different, some, a few different types of the Sharpie pens and I love how they come in so many colors. They're just, and they're fantastic to work with and write with. So even though the barrel of that pen is kind of chubby and it says fine tip, it's, you know, it's like just perfect for writing on. And so I just went around this tag and I used more of the red distressed ink because I can't get enough of that. <laughs> and I smooched it all around because I love, love, love how it just makes everything have like that nice frame around it. And then I took my gold uniball pen and I just did like some messy little lines around the edges just to kind of zhuzh that tag up just a little bit. Because <laughs> again, y'all, y'all know how I roll. You know how I roll with this kind of stuff. And then I also decided I was going to go around the page and kind of smooch that up as well. I love doing that because then I feel like it's kind of a finished layout. Well, kind of, you know. You never know when you're going to go back and just add a few touches here and a few touches there when it comes to your actual pages. So now I'm just putting some more double stick tape on the back of my numbers because I really want them to stick. <laughs> and I'm using my Cricut weeder to pull the tape off the back because I always say don't use your nails for tools ladies don't use your nails for tools and I wanted to make sure I put number one I actually have two pages that have number one but I had two of those numbers that had number one which by the way I did turn those numbers into a digital kit and you can find those over at pleasantcreations.com so I hope you all enjoyed this and I would love to know what your favorite element was so don't forget that you can subscribe by hitting the subscribe button, hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when more videos like this one go out. Give this video a thumbs up and remember you can follow me over on Patreon or Instagram and you'll find the links below in the description. So with that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease. From your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie, have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.